Hi there, it's Linda here. Thanks for joining me as I pull out my Zig Real Brush Markers for the first time in a while to colour up this beautiful Penny Black uh, slapstick rubber stamp called Garden Gems. So I'll list the markers as I go and I'll also tell you uh, what they are for those who like to um, look away from the video and still hear uh, me giving you all the details. I've used a pink zig marker in the middle of this large blossom first of all and then I'm colouring with scarlet red around the outside. Then I'm spraying my uh, watercolour card, Canson watercolour card it is, and stamping down that large floral. I'm spraying with my little mini mister the flower and the cardstock again because I just needed it all to uh, spread and uh, combine a little bit more than it was. Now I'm going on to the two smaller flowers beside that large bloom and I've got cobalt blue first of all in um, sorry in the center of this one is uh, dark pink and then cobalt blue around the outside not happy with how much it's spreading so I'm just adding a bit more water there to my cardstock and then you really do get to see some of the blending of the colors and again on this little bloom the same two zigs the dark pink and the cobalt blue again spraying the stamp and stamping it down and in between you'll often see me grabbing a baby wipe and wiping off my stamp I don't always show that but I certainly do continuously come back and keep wiping it with um, a clean wipe and then dabbing it off with a tissue so that there's not too much moisture left on it so then it's time to move on to the large bloom or back to the large bloom again and I want more definition so I've gone back to the dark pink and I'm just going holding my pen on an angle and I'm going around the outside and wherever you see any lines carved into the red rubber so then when you stamp it you'll see you get a lot more definition on top of the original fairly watery impression same thing now with the two smaller blooms using the blue marker the Persian blue this time going around the outside holding the pen on an angle forgot to stamp uh, sorry forgot to spray with my mini mister so just spraying the cardstock there and then stamping the impression and you'll see that it just gives you more definition on top of what was quite a watery looking impression first time so I work my way now onto the leaves using some light green on those two leaves first and then some Persian green to get the definition around the outside and down the veins of the leaves grabbing my mini mister and spraying onto the cardstock to get a little bit more blending happening and then thinking about spraying again and deciding that I'll just colour up some more leaves first so I've got green for these larger leaves off to the side and I'm colouring the complete leaf with that colour spraying it to, to wet it all and then stamping it down on the cardstock then grabbing my second colour which in this case once I've cleaned off the second colour will be deep green drying off with the tissue and then using the deep green holding it on an angle using that where you can see the veins carved into the rubber and all around the edge of the leaves themselves and as you see you just get that nice bit of extra definition and then I spray it again to blur some of that definition <laughs> so it's a it's a bit of a back and forth back and forth to achieve the look that you're really happy with and of course that can differ for all of us so moving on to a couple of other greens now for some of the other leaves uh, using light green first as the base color on these leaves that are curling around the top 
and of course there's some little buds on that stem as well that I'll come back in and color pink so spraying the cardstock before I stamp that one down and then coming back wiping off the red rubber cleaning off all my color and then a bit of a dry off with my heat tool in between here not too much because it's in my misty and I've got some bits there that will certainly not like much heat on them just a little bit then back in with the green marker around the veins of that cluster of leaves and around their edges and then when I stamp it down I'll have quite nice definition on those leaves a bit more water needed to spread those colors and as soon as I do that you'll see them just start to bleed and shoot out and blend together which is fabulous now onto the larger leaves on the other side using light green first of all stamping them down getting that good base color and then coming in with the green holding the pen on an angle going over the veins and the edges of those leaves just to achieve that extra definition over the top of the watercolored look that I have first of all spraying with the mini mister and quite happy with the way that's starting to come together going back to this little sprig over on the side adding the little pink buds there bit of yellow blending in with those and spraying it off just to get a bit more of a blend with those colors now using my mini mister here and protecting part of the image with my hand because I did not want water to go all over the large bloom back to the large bloom now and using purple again holding the pen with a big marker on an angle going all the way around the edge and around the carved details that are in that red rubber and as you can see it really does add definition to those blossoms so I'll just keep continuing this process I'll let you watch and you can certainly see on the screen which colors I've used each time it's a matter of back and forth back and forth continuing until I really have achieved the overall effect that I'm looking for
Now once all my colouring is done I'm happy with the result there. I allowed it to dry for a little while and now I'm going to do some uh, paint splatters using the Zig colours again. I just scribble a bit of the Zig colour onto the, the acrylic block and then splatter it down with a fine brush using a few colours to do that. Now adding my sentiment from the gorgeous Stampenda set uh, called Big Words Thanks. I absolutely love the fonts in this set and I'm using a happy hello stamping it quite a few times with the Versafine Onyx Black so that you get a really crisp black sentiment and just adding some white enamel dots to the centre of my flowers just for a bit of texture and extra detail a little strip of this rainbow patterned paper from the paper pad you saw and some sequins and my card is complete.